Jai kuwa na kinyongo yote ku, kuwa ke DP Sinanga ubaya mimi na onanga tuwa kwa sawa Ata kama nasemanga Ata kama yes haku niita But sasa hiyo karakta yake ni nisaidia Na ina nisaidia mpaka wa leo Hello guys, this is Mr. A lot more your senior Udaku reporter. And of course, a lot more is coming. Nico Mainio Flani, Niki Cheki. Nico Mainio ya Thikarod mekuja kupiga story na mze. Anaitua Rigi G, amo kipenda. Anaitua Mr. KK Mwenyewe. Jamaa asha surpass 300k followers pale kwenye TikTok na YouTube pia anaskuma kabisa. Mzee ametulia hapo leo amesema avai kirigiji leo anavaa KKK mwenyewe. Mambo ni mingi. Mwangalie tu amepiga look uh, by the way rigiji upiga eh. Rigiji upiga look bro cheki. Jamaa kwa sawa. Ndio hiyo ndio mzee. Ah hujapata hiyo vipi? <laughs> <laughs> Nina kuwaje mze? Niko viti sana. Hey. Kabisa. Hey. So, uh, Mr. Deputy President. <laughs> yes, talk to me. Tell me something, Mr. Arotmo. Give me something. I need to eat, man. There is nothing. You can see the, 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 the drought is trying to beat us up and down. We are trying to pray, but uh, hey. the rain is yet not to come. But we are still hoping that it will come very soon. Hey. Yes. So, what can you tell your fans, your, your fellow Kenyans? My fellow the uh, Kenyans want to tell them uh, they should continue being patient. Wajua mambo ya mfuwa siya tinisisi tunakatana hae. Wajua kila kitu watu wana blame serikali, serikali, kila siku hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza mpaka mfuwa. Ati wana blame nili? Serikali mpaka ni walisikia kisema atisisi tumeiba pesa ya mfuwa. Sisi ya tujafanya ifo. Kwa hivyo watu ya turia na mfuwa itakuja na sisi tuta make sure tumeshukisha bei ya unga. Yes, kwa hivyo watu wawe na amani. Yeah. Wache kublame serikali ya Wilbaro wakisema mvue nyesh. Yes, wasibremu. Sasa hiyo, hiyo ni, mambo, ni mambo ya mungu. Yeah. Na tunwa hope itakuja. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mr. K, K mwenye, umekuwa je bro? Ah, mi nimekuwa fiti sana. Uh -huh. mm. Na pambana tupale kisi? Kabisa manze na jua. Uh, na maisha kukua ngumu kila mahali unajua watu wanani wanashida wakiniambianga miwana wanaka kama mimi sasa ni mimi real deputy president yeah. oya we tushukishie ni unga we nipatia eh hey, nawambia pia mimi nimekaukua kama nyinyi mwacha kukuja wanaingiaka dm yango wananiambia hey, tumi tukonja tukonja mimi nashangaa we mm. <laughs> pia mimi niko karibu kulala nja yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wakilala na lala eh hey, ndio hiyo tu yeah. mm, yeah. Kini, unajua kila mtu sai Kenya anapambana hata maybe pia deputy president pia anapambana tujui so uh, um, it's been a minute kabla tuwanae tulikuwa na we last year tukapigia interview moja muru wa kakimbia sana na wasewa kakusupport sana I mean content creation in general imekuwaje kwa kwa bro uh, siyezi complain nasema kusabio ni moja kati ya vitu zenye napenda uh, nimekuwa niki create content ki siku bada ya siku kama kawaida kujituma ni muhimu hata unaelewa kwa hii industry lazima ujitume uamke asubuhi uweke content ndio watu waone uh, tutambua hii kama itapata itaonwa na watu wawili watatu lakini as long as umefurahisha eh, na umefurahisha mtu mwili wa watu wawili watatu ati mtu mwili <laughs> akiswahili uh, utanisamehea siku kipitia sana mimi ni mtu wa kiingereza kiswahili si si, si kiangu <laughs> kiswahili si kidomo chako eh, si kiangu sasa uh, content nimekuwa nikifanya kila siku uh, na post pale na naona tiktok saini mesikuma at least mefika 300 yeah. sasa ni kupush mpaka 500 mm. yeah. fantastic juzi ilikuwa mambasa nini nini was it a business meet trip ama ilikuwa ni kutembea tu ah ni nilikuwa ni, ni watu tu unajua ni kutembea tu Na, unajua mm, mm, uh, ni hii mwaka ya pasta aliniambia nitaenda mombasa na hiyo professor imekuja kutimia e, lakini kuna kampuni mzuri hapo ilikuja ikanichukua inaitwa uwezo wakanichukua wakanipeleka mombasa e, sasa nikajivinjali huko nikaoga na maji ya chumvi nikawa salama si hata vile niko msafi leo uko smooth kabisa e, na kabisa kabisa sana furahia kabisa e. ya sasa ninataka nirudi kisi sasa ndio niendelee kuleta mandizi e. mm. kisi ni leo leo Ya yeah, kizi nataka kuvuka leo. Ah, yeah. uh, naendaga nikikuja tu. Mara mingi na kuwanga tu area. Siata tunaongeaga na wena kuambia ni kwa road. Yeah, so naendaga na kuja. Ina depend sasa ile business ikitokea hii side na kuja. Ivo, ivo. Yeah. Sao, sao. Karibu kuwe traveler. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the character. The Rigiji character. Ina kupeleka aje kutoka uyanze up to site mesmama. Ime kuwaje for you. 
Ah kitu ya kwanza naweza i appreciate juu hiyo ndio character ambayo ilinifanya nikachipuka nikajulikana kila mahali na mi uifanya kila siku na watu wanapenda sana wananiambiaga tufanye 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 Adho unajua watu wanatakanga sana wanaliforcing nifanye vitu zenye sifai kufanya like unajua sitakai kuifanya ikuwe more political inajui inafaa kuwa entertaining yeah. unajua unasikianga tuseme rigid tuseme ameenda pale amesema kitu fulani unataka watu wanani push nifanye hiyo kitu of course of which nikisema hiyo kitu inakani itakuwa more of politics watu wataanza kudingililia na mambo na siasa wameniambia wewe umeanza kuingia kwa siasa so mimi hujaribu kuka at least kwa lenye ya entertainment ndio ukiwatch we at least na watch the other side of rigiji ya kukuwa mcheshi na nini hiyo ndio na sasa mimi u focus nayo although pia tunafanya content i mean characters zingine hapa na pale yes akina kafengo those people who understand kafengo on tiktok yeah it has been doing well yeah so fantastic na what are some of the challenges that you may encounter ukitumia ile sana sana live alone mr kk mwenyewe ukitumia ile ile character what are some of the challenges zenye zime zimekuwa zikikupeleka mbio sana ya rigiji ah ya rigiji kama venye nimesema kitu ya kwanza there are some people who take it so seriously that when i say something uh, they don't understand that i'm doing it for entertainment they take it like it's so serious like it is the real gigi who have said that so they, they you see they attack me and tell me wewe kwenda hiyo serikali yenu ni bure kabisa tutawatoa kwa nakutusi kabisa of course kuna mtu anakuambia hivyo na shangaa seriously are you serious i'm just an entertainer yes those are some of the challenges but na cope nazo uh, kila siku kila siku but uh, so far so good siezi complain ya yeah, sina complaints mingi ya yeah. ile ile character ilikuja na manufaa gani basi mm? ah ilifanya manzi nikachukuliwa na na brands kidogo kidogo hapo nikazisaidia kufanya marketing na naifanyia mpaka saa hii kwa hivyo nasema iko na manufaa wewe e, mengi sana hiyo si unajua tu hii the payment of this ni. plus youtube pale watu wa kivyu at least anijenga ka kitu ah saa hii siezi sema niko at least naweza kusurvive shule kama comrade Eh yeah, ipo tu. Kwa ile maisha ya Comrade huanga ngumu sana. Eh yeah, wewe inakuanga magumu wewe wewe. Kuinama na tunainama. Eh yeah, so kujaribu kungangana tena asubuhi mbadhe mbadhe sana. Unajua kuna siku nilikuwa eh mbadhe 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 mbadhe. Sahi at least uh, at least ananiambiaga. Ai namwambia kae eh, sahi hii mwezi niko sawa wewe tulia tu. Shughulikia wengine. Mhm. Mm I understand uko shule umesema stories za comrade. Uko pale shule wase uko kube budget bro because you have a name like when rigiji wewe ni Mr. KK. Wanasema gaji uko shuleni. Ah watu wananifurahia tu kitu ya kwanza the fact that mimi ni mmoja wao. Ah tukipata nao hawezi kosa kunisalimia. Kama mtu wananijua lazima anisalimie wengine wanataka selfie. Of which sasa siwezi kata juu ni ma comrade wenzangu. Na mimi nakanga tu kama wao. Mimi hata tukipata nanga ukisema nienda class huwezi sema ati mimi ni mtu mwenye niko na followers huko nje. Hapa na, na tunapatana na wao tuna interact kama ni mali tunafaa kuinteract kama ni kwenda kukunywa ka kitu like juice I mean eh, tunakunywa <laughs> ndivyo. Yeah yeah vitu kama kikomrades. Ki yeah kikomrades. Tuna I live a normal life. Ah miss jai change. Eh niko tu. Yeah fantastic. There is a time ma uh, uli post kwamba sijui uli post ama ulifanya nini story za auna fees ni nini maisha yamekukimbiza then later kibe came through for you big time. Ebu ebu tupe story bro. Uh, ilianza hata hiyo uh, time hiyo time nilikuwa tulikuwa tuko karibu kufanya exam and uh, the school was claiming that we have to uh, to uh, kuwa tumamaliza fees ndio mtu aweze kukalia exam na nilikuwa na balance ka 10900 ah yes nikasema nika sasa nitafanya aje nikapigia madhe akaniambia eh hey, doa kuna sorry kabidi ah nikasema acha ni post tu niona kama kuna mtu wawili watatu wanaweza nisaidia juu the fact that tunaona at least uko na followers watu wanaweza kusaidia yeah so watu waka come through uh, sakaja akakuja through aka akalipa fee yote so sasa hii mimi niko fees free ya yeah, so nika nini alafu sasa coffee free mpaka when mpaka nimalize shule wait are you for real for sure e, alilipa aliniuliza waliniuliza hata si specifically niliongeanga na mimi mshukuru sana anyway ah uh, kwa sababu wali waka come through wakaniambia fees imebaki ngapi uh, nikawatumia details za shule wakalipa sasa mimi niko pale tu nakaanga tu naendaga tu class nimebakisha miaka ngapi Ah uh, sahi niko ni three two naenda attachment alafu nikuja nimalize for nimalize uh, for the wow 
na na Andrew Kibe Andrew Kibe na yeye <laughs> Andrew Kibe ni ni msemi mmoja mwenye respect sana juu kitu ya kwanza ni kama alikuwa ameonaga video zangu zikiendaga alafu afta venye sasa uh, DP uh, alitaga ule dem anaitwa alikuwa anaitwa dadi wao dem akachukuliwa aka hivi alafu rigijini kama hiyo kitu iko mbamba sana so unajua rigiji i mean uh, Andrew Kibe anapenda boy child Ah uh, so ndo hapo akamdhuru sijui siku moja hivyo tu mimi hata nilikuwa napigwa masimu huyu aniaje eh hey, ingia online kibia nakutafuta kibia nakutafuta eh hey, kube kibia alienda akasema nimewekelea tu guinjis nyi mchange tu ile do mko nayo eh hey, watu wakachanga buda na kwambia ikaenda 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 nikasema uh, ikafika kama kadhiri chwani hivyo eh hey, kibia akaniwekea uh, mimi nika nikajipanga and kanunua tu vitu to production nimekwambia niko na kamera yeah. niko na 90d yeah of course niko na na very expensive camera yeah nika juu sasa my my love for kuendelea ku create content hiyo ilikuwa ng'a the most njua watu wengine walikuwa wanafikiria eh hey, u jamaa sasa si u jamaa tangenunua gari ama fanya ni but sasa because of my love for art i had to choose that way hizo yeah. sasa najua zita zimekuwa zikileta zingine mingi hata kuliko zenye nilipewa na kibe unaona yeah. Yeah on that process. Okay. Yeah. Of course najua mje kutana na Kibe but maybe mliongea online conversation ilikuwa gani? Ah uh, Kibe aliniambia tu uh, nafanya kazi poa uh, niendelee akaniambia hizo nijisaidie nazo ni make sure nime Hebu eka venye alisema. Uya uya rugiji. Sema yes. Ah uh, nimekuwa kia hiyo alinitumia anga wanchoani. Nimekuwa kia wanchoani wazicheki. Alafu tena jioni tena akanipigia tena akaniyekea so wengine. Nimekuwa kia so umeiona? Haya, yeah. alafu akaniambia kuna jamaa fulani anaitwa IQ Watson. Ana ukiangalia live yake sana na kuanga hapo jamaa. Wao naye akaweka so. So akaniambia ga wewe hiyo do uitumie vile inafaa. Wao hata father you wende uchukue hata kama ni ka ni ka iPhone yali kwa ananiambia ni chukue iPhone. Ni chukue yani nijisaidie yali niambia na kumbuka akiniambia tu aliniambia ni make sure nimejisaidia na hiyo pesa. Ya, yeah. na akaniambia ni jivijali kidogo. Ya. Yeah. Ongelesha okay, kibe bro. Ah, so ngoja ngoja kidogo. Unajua watu ufikiria sasa ni mkopoa? Ni mafan sasa yeah. watu ufikiria anga kibe ni mtu mbaya because anataka watu you know mnajua hizi vitu i mean ongea na kibe bro uh, mi kwanza wacha kosa ni zeme andu kibe mimi na, na kuanga fano wake mi you watch eh sababu hata kama yes ni ukweli anaambiaga watu uh, ana, yani tuseme anatusi watu lakini lazima hiyo that is his way of communication si unajua tu uh, so mi umsikiza kwa sababu sometimes ana uh, sometimes ana, anaongeaga vitu zina zina make sense very uh, makes a lot of sense so mimi Andrew Kibe mimi nakushukuru sana kijana wako wako sawa hapa kama sio wewe singekuwa hapa uh, nilishika kamera 90D nikashika ngala P nikashika ngala lights nikashika ng- uh, kila kitu tu ya production na hiyo do, uh, do yenye ambayo ulichangisha so nashukuru sana God bless fantastic hey, 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 hey. Kibe asante sana kwa ku come through for this Guy, let's now talk about uh, His Excellency Deputy President uh, Rigathi Gashagwa. Wanapenda kumuita aje? Rigiji. Rigiji. Rigiji uh, came through for the lady mwenye alileta ile jina na wa Kenya wakakuwa wakisema kwamba this guy mwenye ni wewe amekuwa akifanya kwa ali aki how do you call it? Ni kuimpersonate. Uh, amekuwa kum, eh? alisema mic micing kum mic micing yeah. hiyo sasa amekuwa akifanya kitu wasema kwa kusema no you should come through for you ni nini first of all after lona ali come through for that lady na haikuwa wewe how did you feel do you feel like hapana inafaa kwa mimi mm-hmm. ah no i felt nothing by the way uh, people of us have been uh, me- speaking that i felt but i i never felt bad you know i i i, I assumed that you know that was her time and maybe my time is coming you know a, a lot of people are proposing oh this guy should be given a job uh, or should be given a job so i was wondering hata sijamaliza shule why should okay so kitu mimi niliona uh, maybe uh, aliona kwanza asaidie huyo alafu economy kikuwa sawa uh, pia mimi nitaitoa nitafutiwe mtu mahali nisaidiwe so miss jai kuwa na kinyongo yote ku, ku wake dp sinanga ubaya mimi naonanga tu kwa sawa hata kama nasema anga hata kama yes hakuniita but sasa hiyo character yake ilinisaidia na inanisaidia mpaka wa leo so the fact that hiyo character inanisaidia na na siezi sijakosa kitu ya kukula 
Ah niko sawa. Na mimi hata kama angeniita kitu yenye ningeenda kusema pale ningesema tu mimi ajangu ilikuwa tu niniulia vitu zangu za kufanya kazi yangu. Ningeenda tu ungesema hivyo. Ah lakini kibi alikuja zuri so nikaona ah why should I keep on pushing? But of course nilikuwa na receive a lot of calls. Unajua zile calls zinakufanya ukuwe na ile ile nini ya ku nini. But obvious as a human being huwezi kosa kusikia vibaya. Lakini watu ndio hata wanakufanyanga. Ushaelia rais hata mtoto akianguka chini akose kulia ukimwambia pole ndio anasianga anaanza kulia so so mimi sitakai sana watu wakishinda wakiniuliza rigijia jai kuona ah nasema anga sitakai hiyo sitakai kuulizwa hivyo juu hiyo ni kitu nasema anga niliweka tu hapa hivi lakini sitawahi saa huwa alikuwa alikuwa anafaa kuniona mahali so i'm still hoping that that day will come unaona so, yeah so very soon mtakutana na rigiji trust you me when is today today is on 7th uh, 7th yeah. march umaki siku hiyo yeah. siku mkikutana utanipigia simu utaniambia si ndio yeah. mambo ni mengi yeah. ya mwisho bro Ah uh, following hizo comments za watu wakisema sijui nini ni nini ushai ever kufikiria kwamba ile ko, ile character ya Rigiji uli portray in a way that hi-fi Ah Miss Jayfield jukitu ya kwanza uh, unajua yes kuna watu walikuwa nakuja na comment wanasema ati huyu jamaa maybe alikosa kuitwa kwa sababu ya the dressing code eh? Uh, but uh, nashangaaje na, na, na yeah, watu watu walipenda hivyo watu walini appreciate watu walikuwa na repost na the same same dressing code na watu wanafurahia watu wana appreciate of which I, I later on nilikuja nika change so uh, nilikuja nika so watu kusema unapata hata mtu hata sahii nikiwa nimevaa vizuri nikiwa nimevaa ile suti yangu ya yellow nimevaa ah, i mean ya black na tai ya yellow na shati ya white unasikia mtu tu hata ana comment tu wewe gijia hatawahi kuita ukiendelea kuvaa hivi na shanga serious ilikuwa ni <laughs> kwani how, how good do you do they do he, like wanataka nivae aje vizuri lakini nasemanga kama angekuwa kuniita Ali, aliniona alipendezwa na mimi nikiwa hivyo watu walipendezwa na hiyo character watu walifurahia nikiwa hivyo na of course kama ah tunajua tu comedy lazima at least we exaggerate uweze ukikuwa tu so real watu hata 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 una reason ya kucheka so i had to exaggerate that time nilikuwa obvious nilikuwa najua tu avangi hivyo so i had to that but need change wenye tu alikuja akachange hivyo nikakuja nika buy suit nyingine ya black hapo inakuanga sawa sana uh, shati ya white tai ya yellow wakati nafanya hiyo character mimi uva hivyo wakati mpaka zile magoa ma, nini zake zile akivaa uh, hizo mimi na wakati na, na act hiyo character na nazivaa hivyo so watu kusema ama dressing code kukua issue at the reason why rigiji yako niita na uh, mimi sijui yeah so mi na, mimi sinanga si, i don't have any guess watu wanakuja na dhuru kunipatia lot of nini but uh, mimi naendelea tu na kazi yangu vile inafaa okay. yeah if you are to meet him today mm. at this moment ungeva hiyo nguo yeah siko sawa ni mbona nisivai it is very good it is very okay na za hiyo tu hata yeye anataona tu ni mzuri kwa sababu ni suti mzuri trouser ya black iko kwanza tunaipiganga mpaka pasi vizuri koti mzuri ipo so siwezi kosa kuva yeah talk to your fans Yes thank you very much my fans for being supportive to me na washukuru sana manzee kama sio mimi ah, kama sio nyinyi sije kuwa hapa so ah, na washukuru sana muendelee ku follow pale facebook ni mr kk mwenyewe ah, on youtube mr kk mwenyewe ah, then we have uh, on tiktok mr kk mwenyewe na instagram mr kk mwenyewe yes okay uko kwote thank you so much for your time ukienda kisi na najua unatoka saa hii mm. ukienda kisi enda safari njema yeah. na usalimie on songo sana ah, kuna kitu nimesahau kukuuliza uh-huh. uh, how has it been uh, ama umekuwa ukiwaka na content creators wengine i mean comedians wengine yeah of course tumekuwa tukiwaka na wao uh, kadha kadha but sasa the fact that niko kisi ina mikigi a bit hard so mi mwenye nimepatana yeye tunaendaga tunapiga tu content alafu tuna tunatoka tu tuna nakaanga sana na mi uka cuz unaona uh, the ku travel travel na the fact that niko shule but otherwise nikikuwa tu free nikifunguka tu poa ah nitafanya na wengine hivi so yeah ndo tafuta song kwa mfanya kitu kwa kisi kwa kisi mali ni kisi ama ni nyamira unaitangwaje thank you so much guys for watching imekuwa nikipiga story kamera iko wapi <laughs> director amelala thank you so much guys for watching mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache imekuwa nikipiga story na rigizi unaweza mfollow on instagram tiktok facebook everywhere mr kk mwenyewe mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache for now it is a bye bye i'll see you on the next one